Can you talk a little bit also about the perks? You just mentioned them at a high level, but go in a little bit more detail of what you guys unveiled at Gamescom. Yeah. So what we showed is that when you do an execution, there's these highlights that happen around the, around the enemies as you do them. The better you do with your timing, the more of a particular perk, and it's ranked on the, on the right-hand side. There's, I'm sorry, the left-hand side. There's four ranks. There's recruit, um, recruit, soldier, centurion, and legendary. And then based on how well you do over the course of doing that execution is how much of a particular perk you get. So let's say, for instance, you're in low health state. You, you, need, you basically need health. You do an execution on a guy. And how well you do, how well you rank, is how much health you'll get back in your health bar. So it's kind of our way of managing health, focus, and other uh, um, essentials that are basically part of the game, like experience and damage as well. What's it been like working with the Xbox One? Oh, dude, um, it's been awesome. I mean, frankly, you know, the cool, the coolest bit about it is obviously playing with the new hardware. I mean, Crytek being a visual company and just really pushing the graphics, but at the same time using things like the cloud for stuff like multiplayer challenges, um, for how we're doing matchmaking, um, redefining how we think of multiplayer in general. So like we did it in terms of time slices, so we could really um, respect players' times. Um, it's, it, I mean, just a myriad of different ways. The new controller, um, how we use Kinect for controlling smart glass, uh, smart glass in general. It, it's just, it's been awesome. Can you talk about the smart glass experience with this game? Yeah, so we did something a little bit different when we thought about smart glass. We actually took the entire Rise user interface and put it into smart glass. And what that means is, is that we basically get to do, you basically get to interface with the game without actually having the game on. So say for instance, your watching television, playing Forza, maybe some Dead Rising 3 or Titanfall, you want to set up a multiplayer match, you just pick up your Surface, your iOS tablet, your Android, and then you can set up a match there. We also have things like what's called the Timeline, which is a strategy guide that's really um, tailored for you that can be as simple or as robust as you like. It can be as simple as just showing you things like uh, where your friends are exactly in the game, where the achievements are, but it can be robust to how to beat a boss battle, where all the secrets are hidden, and everything. And it, it, it tracks right along with you, and then gives you uh, video help via game DVR, um, just as you play. Um, same thing for multiplayer. We have a multiplayer timeline that shows you what's happening in the arena, where your scores are. It lets you uh, customize your gladiator uh, without even uh, without even having to uh, go to your main menu. So lots of uh, cool new ways to interface with the game um, that haven't been possible before.